Join me every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday for some MTG Arena content. New episodes featuring Limited, Standard, Brawl, Standard 2022, Jumpstart, whatever we can play. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another OB Plays MTG. Um, I'm kind of obsessed with uh, Brawl right now. Um, so today we're going to be playing a mono blue Brawl deck. Uh, Brawl Chief of Compliance. Now, Brawl Chief of Compliance is one in a blue. It's a legendary creature, human wizard, rare, from Kaladesh. Instant and sorcery spells you cast cost one less to cast. Whenever a spell or ability you control counters a spell, you may draw a card. If you do, discard a card. So, I guess you can kind of guess what we're doing. We're playing the mono blue tempo game. Um, obviously, we have a ton of counter spells. Uh, Stifle, Swan Song, Syncopate, Disample Stroke, Sensor, Essence Scatter, um, Lofty Denial, Memory Lapse, Negate. You know, all those things. We're basically just getting Brawl out there early turns hopefully it survives and if it does we just keep dropping lands and countering opponents threats and pinging away um the deck is really fun if you are in ahead uh i've noticed that there's nothing really in the deck that kind of handles um uh creatures in any way like there's no like rivers rebuke or anything to kind of clear boards out and keep things going but we're going to have fun with it anyway. Um, we do have a couple creatures in here. Kira Great Glass Spinner, uh, Brineborn Cutthroat, which can be ridiculous if you're if you're just controlling the board continually. I've had a 10-9 one, and I've just killed the opponent with uh, Voracious Great Shark, Thrix the Sudden, the Sudden Storm. This thing's pretty cool for the late game. Uh, Jin Kataxis, which if we manage to get this thing down then and keep it alive, the opponent's just going to scoop because there's nothing they can do. They just kind of discard seven cards yeah <laughs> um commence the end game stink things like that agent of treachery this is all your late game stuff um I, i'm gonna probably do a couple more brawl videos because historic 100 card brawl has been super fun um and standard's a little stale right now even though it's in, in a great place like there's a lot of decks to play there's just nothing i really want to showcase or play right now so i think we're gonna do a little bit of the uh casual side of things for a little while until i can uh start coming up with some really cool stuff i tried brewing this white blue uh taxes build because my brother-in-law colin uh or as i call him baked diesel everyone calls him that online uh, uh he wanted me to brew something that he likes to play and one of his favorite cards is smothering tithe and i just Getting getting it all together in historic, it just I was losing so many games with it. I couldn't. I, I had a, a solid build of it. It played really well. It was like blue white control slash taxes. It just didn't come through. So until I can kind of come together and figure out a cool deck that isn't similar to anything I've already shown you, I'm gonna do a little bit of casual here and there, a little bit of limited, and uh, we'll get back into things, especially when Midnight Hunt starts coming around and we can start looking at cards together and doing that sort of thing. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when I'm posting things, and let's get into some games. Playing some Brawl. Still. Rocking some Brawl. Hey, Nico Bolas. Dragon God. Alright. It's a good starting hand. Have a opt, you know, for optimal stuff. Might not be able to uh, cast our... Um, Chief of Compliance yet, but we'll see. Kind of want to uh, scry into a land here. Yeah, that's kind of where I want to be. We are going to we'll, uh, leave up mana. We can cast Spectral Sailor and Brainstorm. Cast Spectral Sailor, and Brainstorm. We will put Seagate and Crawling Barons on top. Let's, uh, we'll cast Brawl and Witching Will. Hmm. 
disdainful stroke is not bad here. It really depends on if Brawl survives. I highly doubt he does. But we're going to go ahead and uh, continue to just smack away. We will crack Witching Well. Opponent does nothing. I think that that calls for a disdainful stroke. Opponent doesn't need cards. And opponent quit. So, Bono Blue Tempo. Winning some games. Kind of hard to do. I'm not even going to lie to you. Playing some Brawl. Huh? Y'all get it? It's like Brawl, but Brawl. Chief of Compliance. This is what we're playing. It's very master of time. This could be fun. We're going to continue to put lands into play. D Jaggers. Alright, mobilized district. That's a classic. That is a classic. Alright, we'll play Brawl. That's oh that's smart. I mean I guess that's only like one card, but like like still that's pretty cool, like if you think about it in the grand scheme. One mana tails end. It's pretty powerful. Exclusion mage. Man, that is annoying. and their bounce creatures. It's okay. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and cast this again. Not sure why this is being held up. Okay. We do have counter magic available to us, which is pretty smart. Okay, so opponent doesn't have anything that can deal with this right now. So I think what we're going to do is just hold up some magic. Okie doke. Opponent's in a dangerous spot now. We have a ton of options. Um, I've got Tails End if he wants to cast... It's commander, I've got neutralize. We're just gonna hold up stuff now. We can use chemistry's insight. If we want to draw a card. There's plenty of things we can do. I think opponents short on lands is what's happening right now. We are going to counter that. We will draw a card. I will probably discard Chemister's Insight. We can use it later. Opponent's in trouble, because I'm like stacked, son. We are stacked. Looks like opponent's still having land trouble. We're gonna discard here. Probably hypnotic sprite. Getting to that point in the game. Drawing two cards. I don't understand why. Memorial to Genius. We do have Thrix the Sudden Storm to flash out. We got the land pocket off the top of the deck, which is a good start. So we're in decent shape. 
we are going to continue to hold up magic cards. And if the opponent doesn't do anything but cast dumb things, then we might cast Thrix. Not 100% sure. We are good on lands. Yeah, I don't want them to see the truth. Yeah, that's fine. Actually, you know what? That's fine. pockets so we're just gonna hold up mana we'll probably cast Thrix if they decide to cast Teferi and then we'll cast Tails End no tax in turn no purpose healthy denial opponents having land trouble right now so if giving them lands is not what I'm looking to do. Take action. We'll discard Memorial to Genius. I think we're going to do this now before they decide. Got a flash spell. Now nothing five or greater can be countered. So, which is really strong. And, uh, yeah. Now we're just gonna beat away in the air. And hold up mana. And counter whatever they put. Draw some cards. Arcane Signet. Eh, memory lapse. Opponent's gonna try and counter our spell. draw a card, probably discard the island. We have seven lands. We're, like, doing really well in that front right now. This cannot be countered, which is insane. Okay, Nimble Destructionist. This can't be countered. Because of Thrix, if you guys didn't know. That uh, it can't it spells I cast with five mana value, they or greater cost one less to cast and can't be countered. So this is because of Baral and Thrix is cast for three mana. That's insane. That's crazy. So we're just gonna time warp, take another turn, deal eight damage in the air, and then uh, see what we draw into. We draw into like a Shark Typhoon. Okay. Hit him with the oops. <laughs> Put that salt on him. Get that salt going on him. No reason to uh, do anything else. Opponent's real mad. I can tell. I feel it. In my plums. Y'all ever see uh, Eastbound and Down? One of the greatest. Go ahead and rub it in more. And yeah, we're just going to keep beating away in the sky. Not much else we can do. We're, we are stacked loaded with counter spells right now. We're just sitting pretty. Neutralize. And uh, we're 
not going to draw a card. No purpose in drawing a card. Yep. Bone's going to scoop. We ended up uh, out tempoing them. Thrix the Sudden Storm on the, at the, on the perfect turn. Nimble Obstructionist just to kind of drop something in and keep things going. And that time warp was uh, right on point. Good tempo game. It's going to be playing more Brawl. Let's see what we're up against. Budget, Annex, Hardened in the Forge. A deck that's really going to crap on us if we let it. I mean, opponent goes first. We'll keep. I mean, we're, we're, we're countering stuff. That's the deck. So... Okay. Narset doesn't really help us here unless we draw into like commit or something, which would be banana sandwich. No real need to get too crazy. We got time. Underworld rage out. Okay. Um This could be pretty good. We're gonna hold up mana here. Counter whatever they decide to play. Tries to attack. Opponent might be land screwed. Not gonna happen. Opponent is land screwed. Who played Narset? In case they got like Thrill or something. Thrill of possibility. Draw cards. Um, next turn, we'll play Brawl. Because we have a little bit of mana, we can protect it. You should know. Okay. You win some, you lose some. Okay, Castle Vantress. We'll go ahead and play this. And uh, leave up Negate in case they decide to get high feet. We're going to decline this trigger. Blocks. Okay, we draw two cards, make a five-five. Sounds good to me. What's interesting here is. Whenever you reveal a draw, reveal an instance in this way, copy that card, you may cast that copy, it tastes... Okay. <coughs> we are definitely going to cast Elrond's Epiphany next turn, if this survives. Opponent's probably debating whether to kill a Baral or attempt to have me block. Um, might cast Annex. Okay. Quit. I guess a 5 5 was too much for him or her. What can you do? Well, I mean, in the end, uh, the deck is really cool. Don't get me wrong. There's a lot of really cool things about it on the play. <laughs> it's um, against things like uh, Kinnon Bonder Prodigy and like things that ramp out. You're playing kind of a fair game at that point, and unless you draw perfectly, you, you run into a lot of problems. Um, I I went through. I I'm showing you guys the ones I won. 
but I lost a lot. Like, I'm talking like five or six games where it was just like I couldn't keep up with what opponent was doing. Um, I ended up having to add a card, River's Rebuke, uh, return all non-land permanents, target player controls to their owner's hand, just to kind of give you something. Um, and, I mean, in a 100-card deck, you're not going to get anything crazy. Uh, but if you have the cards and you want to try it out, I, I recommend it. It's a super fun, like, mono blue deck if that's your kind of strategy. Just know that, like, players doing, like, Zakama things and things that, like, ramp them out and then they play huge spells that can't be countered and, like, things like that. Like, you're kind of, unless you're really on point there's not much you can do anyway i hope you guys enjoyed the video i'm going to continue to make brawl, brawl brawl videos and i might throw a standard one in there here and there um just to kind of do a thing uh for fun um but i wanted to also start recording a lot more stuff because i was absent for a week because of getting sick so I'm going to probably throw in a couple bonus videos in there too because I'm playing Magic anyway. I might as well record it. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend and I will see you next time.